What's up everybody, Jason back here to do another diecast review tonight. I will be reviewing a NASCAR classic diecast and that is the 124 scale Rob Moroso Peak Antifreeze 1988 number 47 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Alright, here is the box. Got the diecast on the front, NASCAR Classics logo up there, Rob Moroso. Lionel, the official diecast of NASCAR, 124 scale stock car, limited edition, adult collectible. Side of the box features a front angled view of the die cast. Then we have a uh, little readout here. I will put close to the camera. Well, actually, you might be able to read it yourself, but I'll read it to you. It says here, a tribute to Rob Moroso and his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series start. As a tribute to one of NASCAR's up-and-coming stars in the early 1990s and his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series start, Lionel Racing is excited to release its newest die cast in the NASCAR Classic line, Rob Moroso's number 47 peak, Monte Carlo. The 20-year-old NASCAR Nationwide Series rookie strapped in on October 9, 1988 to compete in his first ever NASCAR Sprint Cup Series start for Hendrick Motorsports. Starting from the 34th position, Moroso finished the race with a top 15 finish and was on his way to racing greatness. Moroso went on to claim the NASCAR Nationwide Series Championship in 1989 and later became the 1990 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Sunoco Rookie of the Year. Interesting fact is that he was declared the 1990 Sprint Cup Series Rookie of the Year after he had tragically passed in a vehicular crash. Got the NASCAR Classics logo once again down there. It's in the box has the silver tag if it would focus it says Rob Moroso number 47 peak 1988 Monte Carlo 1 of 732 side of the box features a image of the die cast once again alright so moving on it does come with a card don't have any information on it just an image a couple images of the car that are on the box so there's all right, moving on to the die cast itself. It's really cool, I must say. I'm a big fan of this Monte Carlo body style. The 88 Monte Carlo was a great looking die, uh, great looking die, uh, die cast and race car in general. So moving on to the car, on the front, it don't have anything at all really. They were the cars back in the 80s were really clean. Nose just features blacked out grill, blacked out headlight area. Only thing on the nose is the black Chevrolet bow tie. On the hood, it features the peak antifreeze and coolant logo with the four hood pins. Hood does open. Everything opens on this hood and deck lid. Engine detail. There you go. It's really good engine detail in here for being a 1988 car. You know, back in the 88 years, they didn't have too much in this car, so there's that. And yes, I have a felt lining on top of my table now, so even if you do hear the car banging up against it, I do have padding underneath of it now, so the car will not get damaged, so there's that. For sponsorship on the front, we have Bilstein Shocks, Victor, 76, Mac Tools, STP, Die Hard, Reed, Stewart, Moroso, and Edelbrock. Moving along, we have Goodyear above both front tires. Sponsorship on the... Uh, Door panel, we have NASCAR race car, Bush, Pole Award, Goodies, Gatorade, Autometer, JE, Stant, Goodyear Belts and Hoses, Michigan 77, Holly, Earl Simpson, Moog, Unical 76, True Value, and TRW. Got the number 47 in blue, outlined in a lighter blue. Sponsorship behind the number 47, we have Unidine AC and Felpro. We have peak antifreeze here. Unidine, Unidine service on the quarter panel with the number 47 and Rob Moroso on the roof. Plastic window net. Moving along to the rear bumper cover, we have peak and the yellow rookie stripe. Deck lid does open up and shows the red fuel cell inside. Got den number 608 of the production on my car. Passenger side is exactly the same as the driver side. You can see the same contingencies on the car. 
see inside the car we got the red fire extinguisher, we got the shifter steering wheel, some n nice little detail on the uh, dashboard. So, got good detail. Like I said, cars back in the 80s were basic. Nothing fancy safety wise. So, it's a great looking die cast. This isn't a very difficult car to find. So, if you do like the NASCAR Classic line and are a fan of Chevy, the Monte Carlos, I do suggest and recommend this car. It's a great looking piece. So, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching it. If you would, please subscribe. I'm working at getting 200 subscribers, so click that subscribe button. I post new reviews every Thursday and even on random uh, days throughout the week. Like the week that this diecast uh, will be posted, you'll probably get two in that one week, Tuesday and on tonight, which is Thursday. I'm also on Facebook. I have two Facebook pages, facebook.com backslash JDR Diecast Reviews and facebook.com backslash Jason Aaron Strain. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Jason A. Strain and Snapchat at DirtDriver10. So thanks for watching this diecast review. I really enjoy all your comments and feedback, so always send me comments and questions. I'll be able to answer them as greatly and informative as I can. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. See you next week for all new diecast review. Bye.